<sighs> I'm getting myself worked up in a frenzy over here because, you know, your favorite comedians are just going off the rails talking about things that they don't really have enough information on to be able to talk about things. And they're fighting for comedy when comedy's not really on the line with this whole situation, with the whole cancel, cancel culture, whatever. Comedy's not on the line. It's not that people don't want to laugh at jokes. It's not. That is not what's happening here. It's people are saying that, uh, questioning whether or not you are specifically saying just jokes. People are feeling like they're getting attacked. And there's an entire group of people that have historically been attacked. And it's only recently that this group of people are in some, some ways legitimized or respected more than they have been. It's only recently that public discourse has been talking about this group of people. It's only recently that this group of, group of people have really been recognized other than being the butt of jokes, other than being in comedy movies, you know, sort of, and like in comedy movies and just sort of little moments that we're just the joke. We're just clearly the joke. We're not meant to like humanize them or understand them in any meaningful way, but just be, ooh, ooh, go, ooh, you, you know the girl, ooh. That's the reaction that you were supposed to have in all of these comedy movies. It wasn't a reaction of, uh, okay, you know, you just doing you. I see it. I see it. It's like, no, literally, that is not acceptable. That was what was, what, that was, Chris, Chris, come on, my man, my man, Chris, 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 my man. Um, <laughs> Dave, 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 my man, my man, Dave. Uh, that's not what's historically been happening. And so it's relatively recently that one of the Kardashian clan came out, did the whole transition, and it came in, it sort of came into public discourse, but like, but it eventually really in like 2015 and 2016 built and built, and it really entered the discourse in those moments, in, in, at that time. So now that Kardashian clan member, I'm not gonna say name, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to name, I'm not going to dead name, I'm not going to do any of that stuff here. <laughs> I'm not going to give any free promotion here. Uh, damn it, I dropped... <sighs> I said the other freaking stupid name. It's just... Yeah. But this has sort of worked me up because... Okay. Let's play this. I'm just going to have a pure reaction. Maybe I'll pause it or I'll wait till the end if I need to. But I'm going to react to this video. I started watching it and I'm feeling like I need to talk about it. So, everybody's mad at the wrong, at the wrongs. I've been saying them. Everybody's mad at the wrong stuff. Dude, 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 you're mad. You're mad too. You're upset. You're upset that other people are upset. What's going on? What's going on? First of all, okay. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, like, you may, yeah, you're a comedian, so then it's like you're, like, hurt. But, like, a comedian losing their special. Because specials are special. It's just jokes. It's never just jokes. It's, it's not. It's not. It can be. Jokes can be hate speech. Okay, let's pause this. Let's stop. Okay. Now, there is some bullying that is just meant to hurt and to make somebody feel bad it is it is just like insults just to get wipe a smile off somebody's face it's physical violence whatever some bullying is that some bullying is 
just jokes, just jokes, jokes at uh, one person. Usually it's like one, maybe it could be two people's expense in front of a big group. It's, it's a joke designed to make everybody laugh at that person and make that person feel small. These are just jokes. And that, and that, that, that bully will fall, fall on that, fall on their sword or whatever, saying, it's just jokes, it's just jokes. It was just a joke. Why are you getting so upset? Why are you getting so upset? Why are you getting so upset? Chris, Chris, why are you getting so upset? And that's, that's the big irony of this entire situation. It's like comedians can't see it. They're too stuck in this, in this obsession, in this religious m mindset of like, I do comedy and comedy is pure and it's perfect and it's beautiful. It's wonderful. It brings such joy and there's no problems in it at all even though i mean lots of comedians go on hiatuses lots of comedians have you know behind the scenes issues and trauma like bo burdham said that he you know had several years where he couldn't get on stage eddie murphy can't come back because he feels like he because he stopped he just abruptly stopped he lost all of the muscle the muscle memory that's needed for him to do another comedy special which is disappointing it's fun it's it's completely disappointing i want i love comedy but i'm also acknowledging i, I can also acknowledge two things at the same time easily some comedians can be bullies and be deluded into thinking that they're they're just jokes are just are just they're totally just jokes you know uh if you know what i mean like no no puns and in, in, intended and this is a safe space where you know we're talking about comedy so we don't want silly puns <laughs> i'm more blue right now but it's it's like no joke is ever just a joke. It's pun it's there's a punchline in it. There's there's literal like violence called into it. And so the idea that like jokes are not like jokes are, you know, not always offensive, but some for the most part you're laughing at something. You're laughing literally at something. And at people. Like you are always laughing at something and laughing at people. Like uh, a a good joke will make it like a good joke makes it like the person that you're laughing at feel like they get to laugh with you and they're not just you're not just laughing at their expense like that's a good joke but you're still you're laughing at them like a, a, a rabbi and a priest walk into a bar one of those uh one of those occupations is gonna be the butt of the joke potentially or it could just be like they walk. They both walked into a, a literal bar, and that's the that's the bar of the you know the low bar of the joke. Like um, that could be had, if if you want, if you if you if you if you, if you will. And it's just it's so ridiculous that you have to explain this to people that are just been, have just been in comedy for so long. Like it's a, like. He, and he's not just making jokes. Dave Chappelle has never just, I don't know if Dave Chappelle has ever just made jokes. He does social comedy commentary. That's what he does. He doesn't just do like jokes. He doesn't just talk about relationships. He does social commentary. He does political humor. Even on Chappelle show, he did political humor. The entire point of, I think, his movie Half-Baked was to, like, politically make it acceptable to smoke well, to not do what Bob Saget was doing in that film, like, because Bob Saget was clearly bad. Um, Bob Saget is clearly bad in all capacities whatsoever, uh, especially for America's Funniest Home Videos, because those, those videos weren't that funny. Let's be honest. They were offensive. That little girl wanted her, her dad to kiss her butt. 
I don't know if anybody remembers that, but that's one of my favorite, like, you want me to kiss it? Yeah, kiss my... She, like, fell on her butt, and then the dad's like, you want me to kiss your boot boot? Yeah, kiss my butt. <laughs> or something. She says something like that. <sighs> okay, let's see what he says some more. Can I speed you? He doesn't hate these people. So, you're speculating. Like, for first, Dave Chappelle doesn't hate these people. You're speculating. You are speculating. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put the video in this. I'm just gonna tell you exactly what Chris D'Elia is saying or paraphrase or whatever, and I'll link it in the description. But how do you know what's going on in his head? You don't. You don't know what's going on in his head. He can tell you everything that he wants in the special, whatever TV's up there. So that's why I'm pointing up there. Um, he can tell you whatever you want, however he allegedly feels. But at the end of the day. How are you just going to step in and say, no, he doesn't hate these people. There's no evidence of him hating these people. Like, he could hate these people inside, and he just doesn't have to reveal his his, uh, his, his true intentions or what's on the surface. But you could interpret whether or not he hates them through his words and his actions. So I don't know. This is very questionable because he seems to be really... There's been multiple specials where he's doubling down talking about the trans gender community and he's come out and said i'm a turf I and mean, he's literally attacking their ideology by saying he's a turf and saying that there it is a it is a fact that gender is a fact which i mean is it, it, it's a fact that it is it, like it 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 exists technically like i mean it's a social construct that does exist that's a fact it is the thing that is talked about. It's a fact that it is talked about by a lot of human beings. But yeah, until you study sociology and study what they're saying and really think through the logic, you can't really make your mind up on this thing. Like what they're saying and what historically has been happening, you can't really... Like people are just, you know, trying to simplify it at the end of the day and just trying to say... No! It's a fact! Because ah! you feel. That's what you feel. And not what you think. You're not thinking. You're not understanding. You don't have enough research. You don't have enough education in order to be able to feel differently. So you're just going off of what was told to you as if that's always the truth. Like, well, that's what my parents told me. And they always told me the truth. Uh-huh, sure they did. Santa Claus... It's the trans community that I think. Like, why are you, so he's saying, like, it's the trans community, I think, that's upset the son. Like, I don't know if he's just doing that to, like, couch this in, like, a safe, like, I, just in case, I don't know, you know, blah, blah, whatever. Ha, huh, you know, it's just like a, you know, it's just sort of like, without, like, it's sort of like a softening of, like, so he doesn't, look like he's a complete expert or something i don't know what it what what exactly the goal with that statement is but that's just like it also makes him look like he doesn't know what he's talking about he's just jumping into the conversation based on a few threads of things that he's heard you know and uh It's not hate speech because he doesn't hate them. That's, that's not an argument. That is not an argument against hate speech or under, any understanding of hate speech. You don't have to hate somebody to say something that is hate speech. You literally, you don't. You could be drunk and just say a very hateful thing at a very wrong time. You can just be dumb in a moment and say something that is very offensive and, uh, and completely offend a person and make them feel scared out of their minds. And that could be hate speech. It's not that hard. It's not really that hard. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it, it like really, like what we talk about, so I didn't mean to say that is like, you know, when somebody says something that's very offensive to you and then they, 
backtrack and say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's like, that's sort of like, right? That's kind of the thing is you could get so, like, man, it is so, like, mad and upset and deranged, ultimately, and say something that's kind of true. Like, it's kind of true, but you're, like, just getting super hyper hyperbolic and going to an extreme level and saying something that you don't fully mean and you know and you don't fully mean it and you just you you want to take it back and you want to apologize and you want to am amend the re relationship and fix things like yeah you would say like oh sorry i didn't really mean that i'm sorry i didn't mean that or whatever you know like You can say hate speech without hating, without fully investing in the hatred of said groups of people, like, of a group of people. It's not really that hard. Art is supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. Like, it's supposed to. It's just supposed to. That's absurd. No... No, it's not. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to make you feel... Monet doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. I can look at tons of Monets, I think. I don't know if there's any uncomfortable Monets or, I, like, Leonardo... The, the Mona Lisa is supposed to make me feel uncomfortable. Is that why she has that Mona Lisa smile? Is that the goal of art? Like, it's... No. Some art does make you feel... It does... The goal is to feel uncomfortable and if people become uncomfortable in your art and that's the point then you shouldn't be such a snowflake that you can't deal with like people being uncomfortable with your art like you would just that would be like that would be the selling point of like yeah i'm offending people like heavy metal isn't out here like why are these people getting all upset? It's, it's like Slayer's literally, you know, talking about demons and Satan and stuff. Like, they're trying to offend Christians. The goal is to offend Christians. They can't just, they, they can't go back and say, why are these Christians getting upset? This is, what, is it, what? What the heck is going on here? It's ridiculous. Like, you know, like, and, and a bunch of, like, heavy metal heads coming out and defending Slayer and saying, this is not offensive. This, this is the conversation that's being had right now. It's like, if people got offended, more often than probably not, I can't say always, it, it, something offensive was said and expressed. I don't think that the, the person that's offended always has the moral high ground. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying always, but sometimes or more often probably than not, it was an offensive thing. And so if the, co if the comedian wants to keep, you know, people, you know, at peace with them or whatever, then maybe figuring out a way to apologize or whatever, like, you know, smooth things out or whatever. Um, or say, well, the point of the joke was like, maybe explain like what you're getting at or something like that. But they were saying, you know, yeah, I'm trying to be offensive. That's the, that's the goal. I'm going to speed this up. You could get mad all that you want. You can get mad all you want, Chris D'Elia. Get mad. Get mad. It doesn't matter. Like, people still get to say what they want to say and feel how they want to feel. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you can get mad all that you want, but nothing's going to change. Nothing is changing. We are going to keep... We're going to keep poking you guys in your eyes and picking your nose and, 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 and tickling your little... Your little, you know stuff down there that you got all reassigned we're gonna be mm, we're gonna be all up in it ha ha it's just dumb
the people that are getting mad are not changing the world because when you're regulated you're not making good decisions okay I don't know <sighs> yeah so regulated So it's not anybody's fault, but the media's fault. Mm -hmm. It's only the media's fault. Guy that said the stuff got the backlash against him. No responsibility whatsoever. He's a comedian. It's comedian co comedy is, is sacred. It's unquestionable. Anything that you say as a comedian is religiously, uh, you know, is religiously protected, I guess. What, religiously protected from any social commentary whatsoever. So, like, right now I'm doing something absolutely illegal because this is a comedian. I am... I am being politically incorrect right now because this is a comedian telling me how I should be feeling. But I don't want to feel like that at all. I don't want to agree to what he's telling me to feel. And this is somebody that I know, I've seen, I saw two of his shows, like not all on all of the not all the episodes, but I mean Whitney and um undateable like you know I've, I've seen a bunch of his shows I've seen his stand up I mean he has moments where you know I'm not a huge fan but like he had a lot of moments where it made me laugh this is a guy who's made me laugh and so I do want to respect his opinion but I at that same time it's just you are in your sport right now in your little tunnel only able to see from your inside the tunnel your tunnel visioned horror blue 2021 what up i just made that up <laughs> i'm horror blue no but uh it's essentially like it's just it's ridiculous because like they literally want the political correctness to be. Comedians can just say whatever they want. Twitter has to shut the hell up. Netflix has to shut the hell up. Uh, uh, the media has to shut the hell up. They can't. There's no reactions. Nobody's allowed to have any reactions whatsoever. Otherwise, you are committing an atrocity a complete atrocity this is the space that we are in people who think that they hate political correctness are are duping themselves into believing that they are not in the same sauce are not bathing in the same you know mud bath i guess or, you know, BS bath, let's be honest. Um, we're all bathing in this same bathtub. It's just some people are pretending that they're not. And so the question is, what is the right political correctness? Should we be able to push back against comedians when they say things? Should we be able to push back against politicians when they say things? When politicians make jokes, should we be allowed to question the politicians' jokes? When a CNN personality makes a joke or a statement, are we allowed to question it? When people on Twitter or a mob on Twitter make commentary and say things are we allowed to question it at the end of the day uh if a painting gets painted are we allowed to talk about it or not are we allowed to say hated it or not do we have to just love art 
are we allowed to have different ideas on art? Are people allowed to say Netflix, you know, and a Netflix employee is allowed to say, hey, I think this is hateful art. You should break, you should put, honestly, Netflix should pull it from the airways. They already paid Dave Chappelle, the people that liked it already got to see it. They'll probably have a copy of it, some of them, and then they'll share it and it'll still be out there. It's not like people, this is, we're going to completely shut down the opportunity for people to enjoy this great art that is the closer by dave chappelle which i haven't watched so i'm you know i'm the biggest of hypocrites as everybody on the internet will tell you or people that don't like me will tell you or whatever but like i i i do want to watch it it's just like i don't want to cringe it i i have already cringed at some of his material in the spe the last several specials i just i just don't want to like it's fine for him to have his opinions it's fine for him to say what he wants on a netflix special it's also like i mean you know netflix has to make the choices in terms of like what politics they agree or disagree with ultimately and they're at, they're free to agree and disagree. They've already paid him anyways. So, and they put the special up and they can just give him the special back. And then he can, they could give him the rights even. And he can take the special wherever he wants. Possibly if he doesn't already own the rights to the special. I don't know, you know, honestly, I really don't know all that, but this is just, this is so ridiculous. And it only took me two minutes. It's only two minutes of this video. I don't know what else is in these last 10 minutes or so, or, or about 10 minutes, but it's just ridiculous. Like, calm it down. You're getting just upset as them. And then pretending like you're not upset. I love you, Chris. I think, I hope. Um, please don't, you know, let me down by hating me or not at least, you know, bully me. That's, uh, you know, make a mockery of me. Go ahead. Let's, let's have, that's, that's, you know, do that if you want, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to try to control you. I'm not that type of person, but I'm, and, and I'm horrible. I know. So if you want to subscribe and like the video, then by all means, go ahead. Peace out. Art. Art. How do you say it? Eh.